welcome back to my channel guys good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you all according to your time if you are new to this channel you are highly welcome and if you are returning subscribers thank you very much for tuning in if you have been watching you've not subscribed what are you waiting for guys please kindly hit that red button where they say subscribe and put on the notification bell so you'll be getting more updates from this channel let's watch this video below guys i will be right back i remain your sister again anointed lady thank you good afternoon one of the reasons why i started the struggle for biafra in 1999 was uh, because of the killing of undebo in northern nigeria and some parts of nigeria the disruption of lives and property of our people in northern Nigeria and other parts of Nigeria. But over the years, we have tried to reduce the tide. Moreover, since uh, after the so-called uh, 90 days debacle, I have been in constant touch with the youth leaders of the north. Most of them come here. And I have always told them that my biggest problem with the North is the killing of people in the North. And they promised me that that should stop. And that has stopped to a great extent. On their own part, they said I should secure the lives and property of Northern Asin in the Southeast, which I agreed has been working. It's been working. There may be some infractions. Every community, every society has its own level of crimes. There is no society that is crime free. There is no society that is crime free. There could be some infractions, uh, or one or two. It was to be killed in the farm. One or two of our sisters could be raped. Very unfortunate. But then, it does not mean that all the poor ladies are raped on a, on a daily basis or all the boys are killed. Even during the kidnapping saga that involved one of our own, Evans. Evans was doing kidnapping in Lagos, but Evans is an Igbo man. Does it mean that uh, all Igbo's in Lagos are kidnappers? No. Even in the north, we cannot say today that all Igbo's in the north are holy. Some could be criminals, but it doesn't mean that all Igbo's in the north are criminals. If you look in Nigeria today, the southeast is the safest zone among the six zones in Nigeria. The southeast is the safest zone, is the most peaceful zone in Nigeria. Even if there have been a mountain in Lagos in the west and the uh, Hisbar. In the north. We don't need those things in the southeast. We don't need them. I'm being frank. If we really needed them in the southeast, we would have had them. We would have had them. So all this playing to the gallery doesn't make sense to me. It's a caricature to our people. It's, it's a laughing matter. It's laughable. You gather us a number of views in the bush, dancing with a stick. Doesn't make sense. All these things have regulations. The Hizba in the north has the backing of the law. The Amotekin in the west has the backing of the law. They work with the police. They are regulated. If they arrest people, they hand over to the police. But if you gather people in the southeast without the backing of the law, anything you do is a nullity. If you die in the process, your death is of no consequence. 
آبی پوشیدن دستند. Anything you do without the force of the law backing you is a knowledge. I'm talking as a lawyer, a lawyer of over 30 years standing. Our people should learn. Our people should learn. The Southeast, if there is any threat, insecurity in, in the Southeast, I'm one of those to know. If anybody should talk about security in the Southeast today, Wazulike should be one of them. Because no person in the Southeast today can come out to say that Wazulike should take the back seat when the issue of, of security arises. Governors could talk of their own states, but I can talk of the entire Southeast because I have my members in every family. I have my security men in every family in the Southeast. I don't need to post on that. Sorry if I'm so immodest on this that I know what I'm talking about. Our people are crossing the red lines. I know what I mean. By assembling the young guys in the bush, <laughs> for whatever reason, sends sends a wrong signal to the north that you want to harm them that you want to attack them. You ask yourself, first and foremost, do you have the right? Do you have the, the right to arrest a Fulani herdsman or herdsman? Do you have the right? If you arrest him, who will you hand him over to? I hope we should think. I know when it came the other day, our people were being harassed in the north. I was the one. I was the one that went to Arawa House in Kaduna and discussed the issue. People have started again. If you keep one about one Igbo uh, man, one Alsa man now in the southeast, do you know how many Igbo they will kill in the north? Nobody will talk. All of you will go back to your bedrooms. Nobody will talk, nobody will come out. But now you are clapping hands, truncating. You must know the consequences of what you do. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. All these people now who are hovering in the bush, if you want to form a security network, is it in the bush, in the forest? Is that where others are forming their own? I don't want to stop anybody from being stupid or being a nuisance. You can be wholly uh, useless if you like. But it was written must speak. Some of my friends say, ah, ignore them, they are useless people, they are senseless. I will not ignore anything because I know the consequences of this as a lawyer and as a stakeholder, not only in the Southeast, but in Nigeria. Uh, an Igbo man may not regard to was written as a stakeholder in Nigeria, but an Hausa man knows that I'm a stakeholder. A Yoruba man knows I'm a stakeholder. Because if it starts, we know those who will come out to face it. Nambikano should be warned. He enjoys all these things. It was this moon, December, that he said he's going to bring Piafra. That Piafra will come December 2020. Now, this is December 2020. has brought another... Ojoro to, 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 to cover up his deficiency and in a, in a, he doesn't have the capacity. You don't have the capacity. We are here. This is my residence. I'm talking here. You run away. Somebody who cannot withstand the heat. I do in uh, South is a security network. And you run away. You come here, stay with us, and uh, and face it. Well, I don't want to talk too much, but I want to warn our people. Look at what happened in uh, the other day. So many people were killed and massacred. Nobody talked about it. The international community didn't bother themselves because they felt that those who were killed were terrorists because they were branded terrorists. 
But look at what happened at the toll gate in Lagos. How many people were killed? Few people. But the international community has come down to raise an inquest to find out. The people should know themselves. These boys now who are in the bush, if the military men surround them and kill all of them, they, they die of, for nothing. It's of no consequence because they become a terrorist. Because if you are doing a lawful thing, would you be hiding in the forest to do it? A word is enough for the wise. Thank you.